Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome. Thank you for coming to spend some time with me today. I'm Tiffany, and this is our small town life. Around here, I like to share our day-to-day -day life living in a small town in Alabama. We live in a double-wide mobile home on a one-acre homestead, and I share homesteading, homemaking, homeschooling content, all things home, and I would love to have you stick around and be part of our crew. Today, I have a little homemaker encouragement for you. I'm going to let you see what I'm doing throughout the day and share some things that have been on my heart. My hope is definitely that you find enjoyment from the content that you see today, but most importantly, when you leave, you feel encouraged. The first thing that I'm doing is getting some red dough ready so that it can be rising while I go about some other things. I knew I wanted to have some bagels for lunch, and so I am making some bread dough, getting that ready. I'm following the recipe that's on the back side of the Great Value Instant Yeast, but I do change a couple of things up. I add an extra teaspoon of sugar. I add in one egg and a little extra flour, especially for the bagels so that they'll be a little more dense. I've actually been really enjoying trying out different bread recipes these last few weeks and tweaking things and making them work well for our family. This today turned out beautifully. These bagels were so delicious. Several of you have also asked about my new glasses. You've noticed that I've been wearing new glasses and they are from Lensmart and I'm going to talk to you more about those in today's video as well. Something I've been thinking about often as of lately is how as individuals we oftentimes try to conform to the majority. And even if it's not the majority, sometimes we see another individual and we admire something in their lives or how they're doing something and we think that must be what we need to do as well. And I'm not saying that that's wrong completely. I definitely think that you can have someone that you look up to, that you trust and you see what they're doing or you take advice from them and then you implement it in your own life in a way that God would lead you to. But here's what I'm getting at. No matter how hard you try to be or do what someone else is doing, you will only ever be a mediocre version of them. However, if you truly dig into who you are, who you were created to be, what you were called to do, you will be the most beautifully authentic version of yourself and the only one like you. And I mean that, y'all. This isn't just some cutesy thing to say. I, and maybe I'm talking to myself as a content creator it's so easy to see what's working for someone else and say oh that must be what I need to do that must be the content that I need to create and I have to to pull in the reins pull back on the reins uh, sometimes and say Tiffany do what you're called to do do what God has put in your heart for you for your family and for your home again I'm not saying that you can't look at what someone's doing that you you know, look up to and that you trust and you can say, okay, I'm going to try to take some of this and implement it in my own life. That's absolutely okay. And God puts those people in our lives to help us along our journey. But that's the thing. You have to be in your own journey, not trying to step your foot into another path that you just want to create for yourself. We'll talk about it more in just a minute, but that suggests of what's been on my heart and my mind over the last few weeks is just being willing to step out of the crowd and into your own journey. Being willing to set aside those thoughts of, well, it works for them, it must work for me. And being willing to step into your own journey and being willing to be that inspiration for someone else to do the same. Let me take just a moment and tell y'all about my new glasses. Several of y'all have noticed that I've had new glasses and you've asked about them. They are from Lensmart. Thank you, Lensmart, for sending me my new glasses. I actually have three pair to show you today. Y'all, buying glasses at the eye doctor is outrageously expensive. Crazy expensive. You can get your prescription and order glasses online. Lensmart has tons of options, tons of different styles, all different colors, even within the same style. There are several color options. And y'all, the, the frames and the lenses are affordable. Because I'm working with them on today's video, I also have a discount code for you that you can put on top of those already low prices. It's ST20. I'll pop it up on the screen and put it down in the description box for you. And I'm going to put a link for you to use. If you use that link, it lets them know that I sent you and I really appreciate that. Let me show you the three different glasses that 
I picked. Actually, I picked two and then I had them surprise me with one. You could also get several different lens types. So, all three of these are actually lenses that when I go outside, they turn into sunglasses. They get darker. That's one thing with wearing glasses. A lot of times, it's hard to wear sunglasses. You're either trying to put them on over your glasses or figure out some way the clip-ons or something. These, the lenses turn darker when I go outside, but I can still see out of them really well. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but I actually really enjoy it because I can still see out of them well, even when they tint. And that's something that even with regular sunglasses, sometimes I'm like, it feels too dark. These do not. Now, you don't have to get that. You can get prescription, regular prescription lenses. You can get blue light blocking lenses. There are all different kinds of options, but I did get the ones that turn into sunglasses when I go outside, and I'll insert a clip of that so that you can see what that looks like. So, like I said, I have three different pairs of glasses to show you. And I have the first one on. These frames are called Nors. And of all the three that I picked, this one sits, or picked two, they picked one for me. This one sits, sits closest to my face and feels really secure. You'll notice I like big, I like big glasses. And sometimes if they sit too far off your face, they feel a little insecure. These do not. These feel nice and sturdy up against my face. And they, they have the metal leg on them. Let me take them off. Now, I can't see anything, but maybe y'all can. I chose the gray tortoise shell. There are a few different color options. This is what the side looks like, and it has that same gray tortoise shell for behind the ear. And all three of the pairs that I have have the plastic nose piece but there are several options that if you like the adjustable nose pieces they have tons of glasses with those as well whatever you prefer so this is the first pair of glasses and this is called Nors, and it's in the gray tortoise shell and they'll all be linked down in the description box for you this is the second pair that i chose and they are called charles and they're black and what i was drawn to on these is this little detail on the side here. Can you see it? Let me take them off so I can show you a little bit closer. Isn't that gorgeous? Just a little something. Just a little something, something. And these again are very comfortable on my face. Let me tell you, I've been wearing these for a couple of weeks so that I could give you my honest opinion on them. And they're really, really, really good quality. Even though they're affordable, they're not cheap. They're not cheaply made. And then this is the pair of glasses that they chose for me. And these are called Sarah. Again, totally <laughs> my style. These are actually black with some of the tortoise shell up here at the top. So almost like a mixture of the other two. And that's what the side of these look like. Thank you again to Lensmart for sending me these glasses. There will be a link down in the description box as well as a discount code. I'd love for you to go check it out. Let's get back to the video. I need to take that bucket right there out to the compost bin. I'm putting those scraps in this compost bin that I have. I've not been giving this particular bin as much attention lately as I probably should have been. I've just been throwing things out in our big compost pile. But I'm going to be more conscious of taking care of this bin right here and making sure I keep my ratio of greens to browns good and keeping the right amount of water in it and those kinds of things because it does create beautiful compost. It just needs a little more attention from me. Y'all, we have had some sickness going through our bunch and we're trying to fight it off and then prevent it for those that haven't had it. So... We're doing some things like our elderberry syrup. And how about my boy <laughs> right there? I was, it was one of those moments where you realize just how grown they're getting. I was trying to open the jar and it wasn't wanting to open. And I said, well, let me find something. And he said, here, I'll get it for you. And opened the jar for me. So everybody was taking elderberry syrup. I'm also going to make me some goldenrod tea with my dried goldenrod. And drink that. You're going to see me get out my goldenrod tincture and take some of it. 
got out my infused oil and put some of that on. I've been putting oregano on everything. Just really doing anything and everything that I can to make sure we're flushing the yuckiness out of our system and staying as healthy as we possibly can when it comes to fighting off anything, keeping our respiratory system good, being able to fight off any coughs or congestion. So yeah, you're going to see me doing all of those things. Now back to what I was talking about earlier, I've been thinking a lot about Jeremiah and in Jeremiah chapter one, that before you were in the womb, I knew you before you were born, you were set apart. And the same God that spoke that of Jeremiah is the same God that created you and I. We are unique. He knew us before we were formed in the womb. He knew us before we were born and he set us apart. It almost seems a little silly of me when I think of what what all God knows about me and how he created me. It almost seems a little silly to me to think that he wouldn't have something special planned for me and planned for you. And if he is going to call us unique, then that means that what Billy Bob or Betty Joe down the road has going for them is unique for them and what I have going on for me and the path that he has for me is unique for me. So let me be a voice of encouragement to you today that when you look at someone else's life and you see what's working for them, don't think that you have to mirror it exactly. Yes, you can take advice. Yes, you can you can implement some of those things into your own life, but don't think that you have to mirror it to a T. What's working for them may not necessarily work for you and what's working for you may not necessarily work for them. And also, let me tell you, when you look out and you see what it feels like the majority is doing, and you say, oh, well, everyone else is doing it. Everyone else is living that way. Everyone else is doing this thing or that thing. That must be what I need to do as well. Be unique, y'all. Be, be willing to be different. Be willing to say, I'm going to be a little different. I'm going to choose to follow the path that God has laid out for me. I'm going to choose to be the person that he has called me to be, do the things he has called me to do, create my home and the environment of my home and raise my family the way he has called me to, even if it doesn't look like everyone else is doing it. And who knows, maybe you'll be the encouragement that someone else needs to see to step out of the crowd and into the life that they were called to live. So back to these bagels, shall we? I'm getting them ready to boil and then go into the oven. And I decided to try something a little bit different with that piece that you see me working with right there. I took it. Oh, and hey, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I put jalapenos, some of our dehydrated jalapenos in half of these bagels. And oh my goodness, it was delicious. I didn't put it in all of them because I knew some of my family wouldn't enjoy that. But goodness, I sure did. <laughs> they were so good. Uh, so what I'm doing with this little piece here is I'm trying out something different. I took just that small ball. I stuffed some cheese on the inside of it. I'm going to go ahead and boil it just for a few seconds on each side. Top them with everything bagel seasoning and some cheddar cheese. Baked them. And y'all, wait till you see this, what are we going to call it? Like a bagel bite. It's a little more than a bite. I guess I could make them a little smaller. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to call it. We'll figure out a name for it. Stuffed bagels. I, I don't know. Stuffed bagel balls. <laughs> really, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But look at that. Look at that. It was so good. So good. Thank y'all for hanging out with me a little while today. Again, I hope you leave with a little bit of encouragement. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.